What was I thinking? Hello, welcome back. We're just gonna jump right into the video. If you have not seen my last video where I do the unboxing and first reactions, then go ahead. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My face is moisturized and I've just been using this, this hyaluronic acid moisture cream. Really, really nice. I've been loving it. And it's by Isn't Tree. I love their sunscreen. Like they have a sunscreen exactly with this like design and everything. And now that I'm realizing it, this is not black owned. <laughs> this is not black owned. <laughs> but I just want to let you know that my, I have a moisturizer on my face. We're going to go in and we're going to use the Juice Boost. But this is a glow serum. So this is the glow serum from Danessa Myricks. Danessa Myricks is actually, she's a black woman. She's from New York. And she's also a makeup artist. So she literally is a makeup artist that decided to, you know, have her own makeup line. Um, Janessa Marks has apparently been around for a really long time, um, I, but her brand recently, I think, what went into Sephora and everything the past like two, three years, but she's been doing makeup and, you know, apparently like in her kitchen and stuff like that way beforehand. <laughs> so I'm just putting this juice boost all over my, not all over my face necessarily, but just like at the high points of my face. I meant to like wrap this up a little bit because I'm wearing a white shirt underneath and I really would not be happy if there's makeup underneath my shirt or on the white shirt. So I'm gonna wrap this up a little bit more. Here is the thing. I have four shades of concealers. Once again, if you watched my last video, is it necessary to have four shades of concealer? Absolutely not, unless you are a makeup artist or whatever it may be. Um, but I got four shades because that's the thing. It's like, it's really hard like online to see what shades are exactly yours. So I really struggled trying to figure out what shades are mine. I, like I said, I only had one video reference. There were not that many videos about the black opal concealers, unfortunately. So I got, like I said, a shade that's like gonna be used for like bronzing a little bit. The two shades that I think will be good to use in my brows would be Rich Wrist and Maple Mane. I think someone said these are quite similar. I feel like this is more of a neutral. This is more of a neutral, I would say like peachy undertone kind of. Let's use the shade Rich Reese to clean up under my eyes. This is the applicator. This is my first time, first impressions. I don't know, I've just been smelling products recently. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what the claims of this concealer is. If it's a drying, or not a drying, but if it's like a hydrating, cause I think I like this little, <laughs> I think I like this little light. Mm. In my last video, I mentioned how I'm like deciding on just getting rid of stuff I don't reach for anymore. And it has to be this like crayon case, which by the way is a black owned brand. So there we go. And yeah, they have great, like their um, honor roll highlighter you will be passing down that highlighter to your grandkids if you choose to have kids and they choose to have kids. Um, you'll be passing this down to your friends because I mean, you name it. Like it's just, I have it right here actually. When it comes to wearing a gold highlighter, I like using this um, and the Black Radiance True Complexion. I know Black Radiance is not black owned, it's not. But I'm just saying that when it comes to like gold highlighters, it's. I like using, if I don't use the Black Radiance one, I will usually reach for this one if I'm looking for a gold highlighter. The Black Radiance one is just so like, I don't know, it's just so finely milled. So I realized that I'm not like, you know, times change, people change. I'm not as into their setting powders because I found other setting powders that work for me. So I just realized I don't really use their setting powders. So I might ask my sister if she wants them, but I have like their yellow one and I have their white one. And I'm just using the white one right now, which is the color for the letter S to add to set my concealer. I kid you not, this palette is probably, look, my last video, if you saw my last video, is so, like, I feel like I need to frame this. Like, it's just really colorful. And because of the fact that it's just, like, not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it has a mirror. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's just a really beautiful palette. So beautiful. And we're going to be using it today. I just get really intimidated and I don't want to like do a look and I'm like, yo, that's what you came up with. 
We're going to be using this palette and this is from, oh, I could cover this up. So this is from Clarity Cosmetics. It is so pretty. Like I'm trying to figure out what look I should do. I don't even know where to start. I don't want to do fine apple just because it's like, it's a little playing it safe. Vacation Me Please is stunning. So let me, actually, let me do this. Let's swatch some of these. Um, I don't know, like, do we like swatches? Let's swatch a couple of these. Qualification looks like, I mean, qualification is absolutely stunning. Like, look at this. Like, so pretty. Also, I made my Thai tea. Yes. In my last video, I was like fiending for it. I think putting the ice and then the ice water it down a little bit definitely helped. Because when I first took the sip, I was like, this does not taste familiar at all. Or not at all, but it, just, it was trying to taste like it. But I think the ice melting it, because they that's what that was one thing they said was to make sure the tea is like, make sure you put lots of ice. Let's do some swatches. I'm going to swatch um, qualifications. I really touched it. I, I did one, two, three. Y'all see this? Hold on, please. I'm just gonna swatch some of the shimmery shades, kind of. Um, the one that I really want to do is Vacation Me Please. So let's swatch Vacation Me Please. Oh, these are buttery, like butter. And I'm realizing that that's, that's like my favorite type of eyeshadow. So I guess in general, like you don't need to add that much because I don't know if this is normal, but it kind of clumped up a little bit. So you just have to kind of like blend it in your skin. But this is Vacation Me Please. Again, I'm going to use my back camera so I can really see the intent of this. But just like on my finger, like this is what it looks like on my finger. I want to also swatch Paradise. Oh my gosh, this is focus on my finger. So this is the shade um paradise i'm gonna have to do the old school way wow and then the other shade that i want to swatch would be and i think i might have seen these swatches from another youtuber i'll link her but maybe it wasn't for this palette but i'll see if i can find all the swatches or maybe the swatches are also online sorry i think that's pretty much it let's swatch here today gone to maui this shade i really want to use in the future so I'm, I, I'm curious to see how this looks. And it's so funny because there's not really that many neutrals here to like use this transition shade. The most neutral would be um, Tropic Like It's Hot. Because usually me, I'm like, where's the neutral? Where's the neutral? Um, so it's kind of like forcing you in a way to really go out of your comfort zone. And this is the shade here today, um, Maui Tomorrow. Yeah, so it's not as like creamy consistency. We'll see how this blends, but I think it's super pigmented, especially given like, you know, melanated skin and everything. I'm gonna take a picture right now of what it looks like with flash or just like on my hand. I'm just gonna take a video. Let's see. So this is what it's looking like. And yeah. And this is what the palette qualification is looking like. Touch that. Vacation me, please. Paradise. I mean, this is just a really gorgeous palette. Like, I mean, the palette story or the color story is just stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. But look at this. And this is the shade Paradise. Like, it's so pretty. Okay, let's look at the site. I'm going to look at the site and come back. So I'm back. I ended up putting some of this, like, water. What do you call this? This is a, an eyeliner, it's like a pencil eyeliner. And I just put it like just a tight line. So I just like put it on my eye, like where my eyelashes is. My eyelashes is right here. Put a little bit meeting just kind of like up here and just kind of like add a little bit just like of um, vacation me please. Just like a little bit higher up, like not keeping it so low. So I'm just gonna add a little vacation please. Just lightly dust it. A little higher that's it nothing too crazy just a little bit higher much better oh thank god we have definitely spent 
enough time on my eyes i think it is so pretty and i think adding the shimmery up here like that was definitely different for me so let's do underpainting let's see how this looks my face is definitely set and primed it is ready to go i'm a little bit nervous to use this concealer to be honest because it seemed a little bit too drying for me like just too thick i don't know let me look up what the claims of this concealer is so we can know what to expect and not be annoyed their main thing is tone brightening that's their thing is like it's a tone brightening concealer the future's looking bright this creamy ultra hydrating liquid concealer is formulated for darker skin tones and eliminates the appearance of dark circles blemishes and discoloration it glides on seamlessly and blends like a dream okay let's see that Offering weightless, buildable coverage that's never ashy or cakey. Well, I hope it's never ashy. You black on now. So there's a shade here that I feel like was a corrector a little bit. So let's use the shade Maple Main. I'm going to use Maple Main and then I'm going to end up using Le Latte just because this shade, I want it to be bright. I'm going to use Maple Main under my eyes. I will say it's like darker. <laughs> Um, then my winter shade right now just a little bit. So we're gonna let that sit. Let's see how well it covers up actually my Spot right here Okay, the concealer is um actually getting tacky. I don't know. What do y'all think of this lash? I, I, I don't know what I think of this lash I, Like I wanted the eye look to like shine through and I feel like sometimes with certain lashes, it's hard to get a pair of lashes where, you know what I mean? So let's just do the contouring shade. So unfortunately, these are the two shades when it comes to the foundation shades for Black Opal. And I'm really sad about that because I don't think any of these, like this is not, that's not a foundation shade. I did cover up. Yeah, this is not a foundation shade. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's see if this one is. Nope. Okay. So that was a fail. So we do not have a contouring shape. So let's just use um for bronzing or whatever you want to use. We're gonna use this shade nice and noir real quick before this starts setting. First time doing this. Ooh, this looks really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's add this shade right here. Lord have mercy. Yeah, that's, mm, let's keep it right there. Wow, I put a little bit too much, my gosh. <laughs> what was I thinking? Trust the process, trust the process. Oh my gosh into the temples, into the hair, into the hair. This is crazy. Especially, like, compared to my ear. Dios mio. I need to put on the other lashes and to see if I like the other lashes better. But I just wanna try and see what the other lashes look like because I, I, I don't know how I feel about these lashes. Like, I don't know what y'all think. These or I'm gonna try these other. We are officially back and I put on both lashes and I don't know which I like, like which I prefer. So I think we're gonna use a little bit of this just because this peachy color Bellini from, um, this peachy color Bellini from Danessa Myrix, it just looks more like natural looking without, you know, taking away from the eyeshadow. Cause I feel like the eyeshadow is very much of a statement. And I don't really want the blush to take away from the eyes. And we're gonna be using Vacation. This is from Beauty Bakery again. And this is a pressed powder. Man, am I pumped. Um, and I have my pressed, my puff right here. If I could open this. So this is the shade again. This is the shade that it is. So it's like it's very light pink. So let's see what it looks like under the eyes. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. Let me, oh. You see how it's like so soft, but like really brightening underneath? Like this is what I needed because I needed some dimension back in my face and I think I kind of lost it a little bit because I did a little too much. Himalayan pink shade. 
right here for under eye. I don't know, maybe we should not be putting it everywhere else on our face, but I'm kind of okay with it. I don't know, that's just me. I feel like it's their exact same, um, like, you know, flower one, but just like in pink. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and pretty much finish my face. Maybe we'll come off, maybe we'll come back and I will decide on the lash. I don't know, let me know which lash y'all want. Either this side or this side. So I am back, it's been a minute. I don't know what the next step part, I don't remember what part of this we were at, but my face is pretty much set. Like I set my face with the powders. I did go in using kind of like my skin tone press powder just to kind of like go over like my parts. Cause I just wanted to keep the under eye pink focus but maybe another time we can play around with trying like you know different colors now we need to do sorry i'm out of breath y'all um i ran out of storage and then i just like transfer my files over to my hard drive and then come back here it's been a process so for my under eye i'm just gonna go in with the wikiki do you love me which is the original that like color right there barely tapping it tapping off the excess and i'm just gonna like Build that up under my eyes. I probably could do a smaller brush, but I'm just gonna like connect it right here. I'm just connecting it with the original shade. Yeah, that looks so much better. I was thinking, I don't know, let me know what y'all think, to use Vacation Me Please as like a little bit of a highlighter shade. I kind of wanted to put that purpley shade in the inner corners, I don't know. I'm gonna leave my inner corners for the first time in my life alone. Qualification shade actually right here. I've been loving doing that, so I'm gonna put that Qualifications right under under my lashes right here. I'm gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes, but the biggest thing is just like I don't have a wait, well, actually that is a primer, but I don't have like a traditional primer that's black owned that I've like found yet, you know? Um, and a setting spray. The biggest thing is like a black owned setting spray has been my biggest thing for years. Um, because you know, setting spray is just personal in some ways. I just feel like setting spray is just really personal and so it's just kind of like it's like you know what i mean it's just like if you find one that works for you then i completely get it okay i'm gonna take vacation me please right here ah too much too much wow okay we got a little carried away i'm just gonna put a little bit down the bridge of my nose okay this is definitely not like a Yeah, so it's kind of like I have like a little bit of loose pigment. I'm just gonna like smile and put a little bit under my. When it comes to the lips, as you know, I got three lip glosses from Clary Cosmetics and then I got a lip liner from Black Opal and a liquid lipstick that is from um, beauty bakery i think for the lips i mean this will be way too much with this look honestly so i'm gonna put that to the side um let's put pink panties to the side okay okay yo youtube please 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 i'm literally yeah let's put this lips lip gloss to the side don't get me in trouble please s'il vous plaît so <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, um, I don't know, I let's try the Beauty Bakery um, lip, bite, lip bite, whatever, I can't even read. So yeah, I'm gonna do this and see how that goes. 
Let's see how dark this is. Cause I'm only gonna use it for a lip liner. I don't really see much. I don't like that. I don't like using matte lipsticks. I'm gonna use this as my lip liner. Okay. Barely showing up on me. And that's fine. I'm gonna go in with the black opal just because it just disappeared on my lips. <laughs> Let's see how creamy this is. This is my first, like, actually my first official lip liner, but kind of. Hold on. One second. I don't know that much about lip liners, but it's not as creamy as I would have liked personally. Like when you do, do when you do it like sideways, it does glide a little bit better, but it's not like as much as I would have liked. Let's try just for the sake of it. Put give me s'more, which is this dark lip gloss right here. It's dark. So give me s'more. Over. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. We're like adding like five different versions of chocolate on as a lip liner. Okay, we're not gonna see it. <laughs> That is dark. Yeah, that is really dark. Put this up. And this is the shade Toffee. Toffee. So Toffee is basically your lips look better. I do not like this. Okay, hold on. Let's do this again. We're just gonna put on Toffee lip gloss. Just by itself yeah it's not it's literally my lips but better like I said this smells divine and it's not sticky even though I just went through and put so many things it's not sticky at all see this is the finished look and as you can see I have like you know the little highlight here which I like, I've been enjoying incorporating in my looks where I just kind of put the highlighter right here, a little bit of a focus. It just looks very angelic to me personally. Like, as you can see, I went with the more dramatic lashes. I just feel like those lashes, Amazon lashes, I feel like they're just more of like a natural kind of look. Um, and yeah, so I feel like you can still see the eyeshadow. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found a brand that you are able to support. You know, I didn't know about Clarity Cosmetics and there are so many other brands like Clarity Cosmetics. I mean, the quality was amazing. I ended up loving, I actually love the black opal concealer. I wasn't expecting that. I'm very like, I mean, who doesn't, like a lot of us don't really want to try different brands because it's like you find one that you love, but I love the concealer from black opal and um, I loved the setting powder. Like this was my very first time trying setting powder, like pink setting powder. And it did not disappoint because I knew I was like, as soon as they came out with the pressed one, when they already had the um, loose one, I just knew it was going to be amazing. I hope you all are doing well and that you are taking care of yourselves. And if you are new again, I'm so happy you're here. If you haven't seen my unboxing or maybe you're interested, be sure to check out the other the, the unboxing here. And yeah, let me know if you like these longer videos. Be sure to click the like button so that I can spread to other people so that way they can learn about these brands. And yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next one. Bye.